Hello, everyone. I'm Eric with Fast Slow Motion, joined today by Nolan Verner, one of our project leaders here at FSM, and Cliff Johnson, the Senior Director of Global Revenue for Nuvolo. Cliff, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about Nuvolo. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks so much for having me. So um, I've actually been with Nuvolo for quite some time. I started with Nuvolo back in 2015. And I lead the uh, revenue operations there. So when we started, we were actually just transitioning out from becoming a, a services, really a services organization to a SaaS software company. So we had two, co two customers at that time, and I was implementing all of our revenue processes, our technology to support process across the sales, marketing, and customer success. And... Overall, I was responsible for the sales and marketing and tech stack at Novolo and growing that and making sure we had all the process and tools in place to support our growth and scale. And so you started working with us in uh, 2022, January of 2022. What was going on then at Novolo that caused you to reach out and connect with us? Yeah, so at that time, you know, obviously there was a, a global pandemic going on at that time, but Believe it or not, we were still in our uh, hyper growth mode. So we were executing uh, against a plan to double our size and our revenue. So at that time, we needed to put together the processes and tools in place to support that tremendous growth and that and that scale that we were anticipating. So uh, there was really two major projects that um, we we were looking to solve. Uh, and that was, we had the increasing need to educate our partners on how to sell Nivolo and also implement Nivolo because um, we're a software company and we were also implementing that, implementing our own software. And that became, uh, as we were growing, um, harder and harder to do. So we had to look to our partners to help support us in that growth. So we needed to track our partner pursuits, the health of our projects that were being led by partners. Um, and we based a lot of our tech, tech stack decisions on how well that technology played together and integrated with Salesforce. So we made the decision to go with uh, Salesforce communities, which I think is called uh, Experience Cloud now for that partner portal. And we chose that because they had a lot of flexibility to work with Salesforce, pull in all the different uh, marketing training materials and learning tools and do deal registrations and other things like that. Um, and we also purchased CPQ, uh, the Salesforce configure price and quote tool as we were going through a process of really maturing our, our price book as we were really maturing our offerings. Um, our offerings uh, were starting to grow and it was getting a lot more, our, our price book was getting a lot more complex. So we needed a tool in place that was going to be able to support that and put together um, a certain configuration and pricing rules that we needed for that. So we made the decision to go ahead and, and purchase those um, two pieces of software. And then, you know, we were looking for a partner, primarily a partner that had experience within both areas to help uh, support the implementation of that. So uh, we reached out to uh, Salesforce to help give us a few uh, recommendations on partners and uh, FSM was one of their recommendations. So we did a few rounds of interviews with partners and um, FSM was a was a clear winner in that area as they were able to demonstrate uh, expertise in both areas. Um, really had put together a solid team on those those interviews. Were able to really understand our vision and, and work with us and really be invested in our project. And Nolan, you've been involved with the project since day one. CPQ, Experience Cloud, these are pretty complex Salesforce products to implement. Walk us through kind of our approach for that and how we did it. 
Yeah, sure. So um, I the one word that comes to mind when I think about working with the Nuvolo team, Cliff and uh, other team members over there is it's incredibly collaborative the entire way through. Um, it was so much and a lot of creativity, I'd say as well, not maybe trying to rethink the product offerings of Salesforce, but trying to really understand choices we're making today, things that Cliff and Glenn and Alana are bringing to the table and saying, hey, we want to do this. And then thinking through all the different ways that we could do it, uh, as opposed to just kind of driving and, and going in one direction. So the first thing about working with the Nuvolo team is it's just incredibly collaborative, very creative team, um, thinking about every question that they could possibly ask, which is great for us to make us, you know, ensure that we're partnering with them, um, making sure that we're providing them something that's not only working today, that when they log in the next time it works and it does what it's supposed to, but five, seven, eight, 10 years from now, as they continue to grow, as they have that that same experience continues on um, a lot of the the technical aspects with those being cpq specific and experience cloud specific it was very much about making sure that we at times had the the correct resources when and cliff learned this when you get to engage with the fast motion team you kind of get to engage with the whole brain um, there's there's folks that may not be able to um, have involvement day to day or be on every single call. But when we, when we say oh, there's a need here, there's, there's a, a very specific niche of, of a request or an idea or a thought, well, we usually have a resource here. We've got a, a larger organization that can be utilized to say, Hey, let's try to figure out how can we get right resources at the right time for the right needs to make sure that we get, get that solution delivered for the team, or at least get them an idea of what it could look like. So, um, yeah, I, again, I think working with, with Cliff and the whole team, it was awesome. Uh, I, it was, it was almost like getting in a room each week when we'd have our calls and just whiteboarding, we would think about all these different things go, well, what if we did this? Or what if we went that route? So there was a lot of that to inevitably get to a place that said, Hey, this works for us today. And I, then this will work for us moving forward. And because of Cliff and, and their involvement in working with the software product, they know and are very familiar with that change that'll take place over time. And so they were willing to walk through that growth with us and just take that time to say, hey, let's let's do this right along the way. And Cliff, how would you describe the experience of working with Nolan and the FSM project team? Yeah, so Thank, thank you very much, Nolan. Um, I think that uh, Nolan really hit a lot of the uh, on the head. Is that one of the key factors I think of uh, of success of working with FSM team was really to be able to to match our pace. They're always able to pull in the right subject matter experts when things got tough and there was hard problems to solve. And although the team wasn't, you know, a hundred percent consistent and the same throughout the project things always seem to go seamlessly um like when we had a particular problem we were able to pull in the right people that had the right uh, knowledge on the area to really help us whiteboard it and think through it and come up with a solution when we needed to move fast fsm was you know there like okay let, let let's do it we're gonna we're gonna try, we're gonna match your tempo um, you know, there, there were several times and examples, like a complex, like single sign on problem that we needed, um, IT's pull in a right person there, um, a complex, uh, CPQ bundle that we're trying to solve, um, pull in the right people there to help us help give us guidance and, and, and see and present the options and see which one is going to be the best to match our business um, you know, use case. Uh, and another great example is we need to produce a an order form that matched our CEO's uh, needs. And if you ever met him, he, you know, it, it's there's a lot of uh, funny stories about how particular that he could be. So we had a <laughs> lot of complex requirements to get that order form looking um, proper and something that we could give to our customers in confidence and know that they know exactly what they're buying and 
we know exactly what they're selling in was a was a real goal of ours. And so with each each one of these complex problems, we were they were always able to pull in the right people to help solve propose some options and what that might look like and 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 allow us to go forward. Um, you know, it, for us on at, at Navolo, like I mentioned, at that time, we were going through a major hypergrowth. But then, of course, there was the global pandemic. There was major, major economics, economic changes going on. And we started to go through a shift of, you know, growth of all at all cost to, OK, we got to kind of shift in and focus more on, um, you know, working with what we have, working smarter um, and 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 having a goal of working towards profitability. So there was a lot of changes that and personnel changes that happened on our end due to, due to COVID in that in that evolving economic situation. So there was a, a few changes that happened, you know, in the leadership of the partner portal where you know some people left, new people came in. And so even on our side, we had to we had to adapt and, and FSM was able to you know pick up in 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 change with the new vision of new people coming in and what you know bring them up to speed, but also adapt to their vision as well. So uh overall, um, you know, the vision and strategy changed a few times over the project, but um we were always able to work through that. What advice would you give to other business leaders who may be dealing with similar challenges to the ones we tackled together? Yeah. So if I had a, someone else in my place that, that was going into this or any other leaders that are going to face similar situations, I think it's always important to put together the vision, get your business processes and goals uh, laid out and aligned with the implementation partner. You know, the correct order is always people, process, and then technology. And, and I don't see it being any other way. So you have to make sure that those plans are communicated to the partner and aligned in the SOW. But as we mentioned and talked, uh, project plans can always change. And, uh, you know, I, I was actually reading an article in the Harvard Business Review that, um, the title of it was strategic plans are less important than strategic planning planning and i think that's crucial you, you think of the plan as a guidance tool um with strategic planning occurring throughout the project in adapting to the unknowns um but putting together that initial plan is so important it brings up disagreements it brings up it surfaces disagreements and it surfaces all the unknown problems and you always assume that the plan is a work in progress. We change direction so many times and well, a few times. So we had to anticipate that. And one of the things that I loved uh, that Brian brought up in the in the very beginning of the project was kind of a graph that showed, you know, your your excitement level at the beginning of a project goes way up and you're very excited about all the things that uh, could go go right and in, in all the outcomes of the project. But then it, after a while, you know, things gets tough and you start to dip into what he called the valley of despair, which I thought was very funny. But we anticipated that and we knew it, that we were in the valley of despair a few times. Um, but FSM was always equally invested into the success of the project. So using that plan is just a guidance to continuous continuously reiterate on what was key anything to add to that nolan um i not to i think cliff cliff said it beautifully yeah there's um from from the jump trying to set those expectations um and again because they they work in a similar space and are dealing with a software product that they're constantly having to navigate through with their customers and their clientele uh he had a really good understanding and, and feeling about what that means and what that looks like um but yeah the having that plan in place um again making sure that that there is a vision cast that there's an understanding of it. we want to head there 
being okay if that's going to shift along the way because 99 percent of the time it's going to and we're okay with that and uh thankfully cliff and his team were were okay with that and and super limber to to navigate those those different changes and transitions with us but um yeah i i think that i would i would advise in the in the same manner and again kind of going back if our plans stayed the same and our process stayed the same what cliff said was just beautiful and that the people part of it almost coming first and knowing that, hey, making sure we've got the right resources on our side, um, the right folks we need to communicate with new as these complex issues or these these different things popped up, making sure that we could, um, yeah, just integrate the right folks at the right time as we need. Cliff, thanks again for your time today. How can people learn more about Nivola? So to learn more about Nivola, um, you could go to nivola.com. We have a bunch of success stories there. We do do weekly webinars, so you could sign up for one of those on the various different topics. And we attend, uh, uh, we have a couple events coming up. So just a quick um, about Nivolo. Nivolo is an integrated workplace management system. So uh, IWMS for short. And so what that basically means is we help organizations optimize the use of um, workspaces, real estate and facility assets. So uh, within IWMS, there's five major pillars, real estate, facilities, maintenance, space, capital planning and projects and sustainability. So real estate is really about um, helping customers acquire new buildings in the space that they need if they're you know, going through growth and they, they want to um, expand and create some new buildings. Uh, the facility maintenance helps you address any issues within the buildings, including the cleaning, equipment repairs, maintenance, and any costs associated with that. Space is all about mapping out, um, mapping out those buildings for the people and desks that are going to be involved in there and planning out your offices and cubicles um, and then and deploying you know, IT to track uh, badges and allowing um, people to select workspaces and conference rooms and capital planning and projects can help you track your renovation renovations and associated costs with that. And sustainability is all about managing your energy efficiency uh, to improve your company's footprint. So if there, if you have any plans to, you know, uh, expand and you're looking ways to optimize your real estate, Novolo is the place to go. We're all, we're built on the ServiceNow platform. So we inherit all the power of the ServiceNow platform and we expand on the capabilities of that and um, allow for a single uh, source of record, single source of, source of truth. So um, head on over to the Novolo website for more info. The key thing is that FSM was really, I felt like, um, you know, Nolan and team were equally as invested in the success of these projects as I was, which was a, really an extreme level of comfort. I knew that whenever, you know, we we needed, we needed to pick up the pace, we needed some help, we needed to hit, hit a milestone, or things weren't looking so great um, in terms of like, when we were in that valley of despair, you know, it was all hands on deck to help, uh, you know, put together a path forward. Yeah, well, thanks so much for the opportunity to talk a little bit about Novolo and, and um, support you guys because you guys were um, amazing towards the success of this project or both of these projects.